Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Indiana, which is our second largest freshman class of all time. Now, we might be the second largest class, but in four years we have a chance to be the largest graduating class in the history of Indiana. You're going to find out in a short period of time that whatever your parents told you about Indiana, whatever your grandparents, whatever your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your teachers, your aunts, your uncles, your neighbors, whatever they told you about how great Indiana is, they weren't even close. It's 10, 20, 30, 40 times greater than what they told you. But we got to make sure we understand what we have here. How many finished in the top half of their class? Now, how many finished in the top 10% of their class? How many know people that applied to Indiana and couldn't get in? Yep. You know what? You'll be able to say hi to them when they're at Purdue in Illinois. Okay? This is my fourth time being out here for this, and this is by far the loudest I've ever heard a group of people coming in. Now, a couple things. Classes start Monday. That doesn't mean Tuesday, yes. It doesn't mean Wednesday, it means Monday. Homework starts Monday. Studying starts Monday. Because, listen now, if you're going to make your mark at this university, and if you're going to leave here in four years, not only with a degree, but with an education and an experience that's going to allow you to go out into the state of Indiana, into the rest of the United States, or into parts of the world, and absolutely leave the mark on the country that you're going to leave on this university, you've got to get started right away. We, we at basketball are going to get started right away on Monday with our workouts. Our football team, our soccer team, our field hockey team, our, our women's volleyball team, other sports, they've been at it the entire month. It gets started for all of them over the next few days and weeks. We've got to be there. There are 24 sports in Indiana. And understand this, understand this about the 24 sports. Over half of those sports last year had a, a thousand on the APR, which for college athletes and for programs, that's what we're all defined by when it comes to academics. And you can't get any higher than a thousand. And that's a bit, you're going to school with student athletes that make a difference and they're going to be in those classes with you, but they're going to need your support. They're going to absolutely need you to be out there in full force. Our football team, I saw something today. You're going to meet Coach Wilson in a little bit. How many follow me on Twitter? How many follow me? That's not enough. That's not enough. I should hear everybody. You've got to get at Tom Crean, follow me on Twitter. Because I'm, I'm blowing away the Big Ten when it comes to Twitter followers. But, but, Coach Wilson, the other night, we tweeted about Coach Wilson's Twitter account. It went up 800 just like that. I saw something today. How many would like to have the day when we beat Nebraska? Yeah. Well, you got to help us. You got to help us get that first win. But because before we play them on the field and before we beat them in recruiting, Coach Wilson's got to be able to beat Bo, Coach Bo Pelini and Twitter followers. And Bo right now is at 24,000. Coach Wilson's at 8,000. Can we lift that up? 
Can we pick that up? Let's see. Let's see if we can't blow the lid off Coach Wilson's Twitter, because I know you're going to want to follow every part of this university and all of the athletic programs, because it's getting ready to be exciting. It really is. And we're going to all be out at those games together, but we're getting ready to be excited too. And on the weekend of October 15th, the 14th, 15th weekend, is when we kick off with our Hoosier Hysteria. And it is going to be hysterical. It's going to be incredible. And you're going to get a chance to see how hard our guys work. Now, right now, a couple of our guys, a couple of the people in your class, they're not back yet. They've been here all summer. One gets back tonight, one gets back tomorrow. But one of the class, uh, this class, one of the dorms is missing somebody. And we need to get this scoreboard raised just a little bit so I can bring him out here. Okay? But I want you to give a warm welcome to your classmate, Mr. Basketball, Cody Zeller. want to hear a word from Cody? I think so. All right, first off, uh, shout out to Briscoe. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but this makes me excited for basketball season. We'll see you around. Guys like Cody and Austin Etherington and Remy Abel in his class are paving the way for people to come here to understand just what you understood. It is absolutely the coolest, smartest, best thing you can do, which is to join Indiana University and absolutely dominate the country in academics and athletics. Now I'm gonna turn it back over, but there are so many traditions that you need to pick up. You're already finding some of them. As Mr. Doug Boer said, 75% of the people walking in here knew that this is Indiana song and that hasn't even been out a year. Is that a pretty cool song? Yeah. But there's a lot of traditions that have been here for a lot longer than all of us. And for you to continue on the legacy, just like Cody wants to continue on the legacy of the people that won national championships and Big Ten championships, just like you want to fill that legacy for your families and your schools, you've got to do your part every day. Be responsible, be safe, take care of one another, study hard, be in class, and follow these programs to the best of your ability. Have a great year. We'll see you during the season. Thanks.